we have a uh, spherical tank with a radius of 10 feet and it's half full of uh, water and we want to find the um, work we want to find the work done in pumping the water this amount of water right here over the top of the tank and so how much work is done and let's make the assumption that water weights are 62.5 pounds per cubic uh, feet and so uh, the uh, radius of the sphere is 10 and so the distance from here to here will be 20 and then we will uh, place the uh, origin of the uh, at the bottom of the sphere and so this is the origin so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis and so the origin will be at the bottom of the uh, sphere right at the center of the bottom of the sphere and uh, now suppose we uh, so right here this is the uh, origin and suppose we have a, a slice of the sphere right here so we have this circle right here that is one foot above the ground then what is the radius of this circle right here that is one foot above the ground the distance from here to here would be 10 because this is the radius of the sphere the distance from here to here is 1, and therefore this side right here is 9. So it's 10 minus 1, which is 9. The radius of the sphere is 10, and we want to know the radius of this circle right here. And so we have a right triangle. This side will be 9, this side, the hypotenuse, will be 10, and then here we have R. And so we get 9 square plus r square is equal to 10 square and so r square is 100 minus 81 which is 19 and so the radius will be the square root of 19 and so if we uh, this lies right this circle right here which is one foot above the ground its radius is the square root of 19 and now similarly let's find the circle this circle right here that is two foot two feet above the ground then the and so the distance from the ground up to here this is two feet and therefore this side will be 10 because the radius of the sphere is 10 and so this side will be 8 and then the hypotenuse here will still be 10. And here we want to know what is the radius of this circle right here. And so we get uh, a squared plus r squared is equal to 10 squared. And so it be r squared equal to 100 minus a squared, which is 64. And so we get 36. And so the radius will be 6. And therefore the uh, circle that is uh, two feet above the ground will have a radius of six and so in general if we have a circle that is y feet above the ground and that is x distance from the origin and so the distance from here to here that will be the radius of the circle that is y feet above the ground and so the for this circle the relationship between x and y is as follows and so we have uh, the distance from here to here is y and so the, the so this side would be 10 minus y and then this side which is the radius of the circle will be x and then the hypotenuse will be 10 and so we get x squared plus 10 minus y squared is equal to 10 squared 10 squared is 100 and then we bring this term right here to the right side then we get x squared is equal to 100 minus 10 minus y squared and so this is the equation that relates x and y and so x is the radius of the circle that is y feet 
above the ground. And now to calculate the uh, amount of work uh, that's required to uh, pump this uh, amount of water over the top of the tank, then what we're going to do is we can uh, slice this water right here into many, many slices of water. And so this is one slice, one of the many slices. And so this slice right here, it has a radius. The slice would be in the shape of a cylinder. And so this slice right here, a, a very thin cylinder. It has a radius X and it's Y feet above the ground. And the relationship between X and Y is X squared minus 100 uh, is equal to 100 minus y minus 10 squared. And so we want to calculate the amount of work required to lift this disk of water over the top of the tank, out of the, out of the tank. And so once again, the radius of this disk, which is in the shape of a cylinder, is x and it's y feet above the ground. And so now let's calculate the weight of this disk of water. And so the weight of the disk of water will be the 62.5 pounds per cubic feet times the volume of the disk. The volume of this disk would be the square of the radius of the disk times the height of the disk, which is in the shape of a cylinder, a very, very thin cylinder. The radius of the disk is some x distance, so it will be x squared, and then the height of the disk would be some y distance and we'll call it delta y. And so the thickness of this disk will be delta y. The radius of this disk will be x. So radius of this disk of water is x, and then the thickness of the disk is some y distance, and we call it delta y. We have already shown that the relationship between x and y is x squared equal to 100 minus minus 10 minus y squared. And so in the place of x squared, we have 100 minus 10 minus y squared. And then multiply this out. Uh, simplify the 10 minus y squared. We get y squared minus 20y plus 100. And then times the thickness of the disk of water. 100 minus 100 would be 0. And then what's left? would be negative y squared plus 20y, which can be written as 20y minus y squared. So this is the weight of, the di of this disk of water. And remember that the, this slice or the slice of water or disk of water, there are many, many, uh, many, many slices, and this is one slice. And so the work done in lifting this slice of water to the top of the tank, slice or disc, is as follows. Work is defined as force times the distance. And so the force in this case would be the weight of this disc of water. And the weight of this disc of water is this expression right here. And the distance that we need to move this disk of water will be from, y, from 
would be 20 minus y because we're moving it from here up to the top. The distance from here to here is y and the distance from here to here is 20. And so the distance that the disk will be moved, of this, the disk of water will be moved, will be 20 minus y. And so this is the distance and this is the force. And so uh, to simplify, we get to uh, multiply the uh, 20y minus y square and 20 by 20 minus y, we will get 400y minus 40y squared plus y to the third. And so this is the work required to lift this disk of water to the top of the tank and then out of the tank. But now we want to live, we have many, many disks or many, many slices of water. And so we have to lift each one. And so what we want to do is slice this uh, water right here into an infinite number of slices. And therefore if we slice this water right here into an infinite number of slices, then the work required to lift all of this water to the top of the tank will be I from 1, will be the summation from 1 to infinity. And so this right here, this is the work required to lift the ith disk to the top of the tank. And since we're slicing this uh, water right here into an infinite number of slices, then this is the total work required to lift all of this water to the top of the tank. And so from here, uh, we have the uh, this limit right here, then we have the uh, definite integral. And so the, uh, and so the total work the work required to lift all of this water to the top of the tank will be the integral from 0 to 10 because this is 0, this is 10 because y ranges from 0 to 10. And then we have the 62.5 times pi and then times all of this. Antiderivative of uh, 400y is 200y squared antiderivative of 40y squared is 40y to the third over 3. And an antiderivative of y to the third is y to the fourth dividing by 4. And then we need to evaluate from 0 to 10. So for the this is for the upper limit of integration. And so in the place of y, we have 10, 10, and 10. And then the lower limit of integration is zero, so we get zero, zero, zero. And then all of this will simplify. And then uh, this part would be zero, and then this part right here would be 1,799,870.7. Uh, uh, and so this is the amount of work that's required. to lift this much work, uh, this, uh, this amount of water to the top of the tank.